Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, today we're going to talk about project management and I will show you a tutorial on the network diagram and from network diagram we can uh, find the critical path and then we can find slack and then we can determine which of the tasks that we can can be delayed. Okay, and we're going to have a gun chart and then uh, from this information we have all the tasks here. A until I, and these are the duration, okay, given in days. And then these are the preceding tasks, in which mean that after A, we have B, and then after A, also we have C. So, what you have to do, you have to translate all this information into bubble and arrow, okay? So, bubble from this information, we start with our start box, and then we start with A, and then A go to B. Okay, we find here B and then A also go to C and then B go to D and then C go to E and so on. So you have to connect all the tasks using arrow to the task that related to. Okay, so uh, at the end you have I in which I come from F, G and H. So F, G and H goes to I and then we have to close it with N. Okay, so when we get this catch, we need to do the network diagram in which we have to fill up the uh, earliest start time and the earliest finish time. So we're going to start from here, going this way, okay? We're going this way. So start, okay, here, 0 plus 0 because start have no information or duration. And then we go to A here. So A duration is 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2. Okay, then after A, we got B and C. Okay, B and C, and then we uh, fill in the duration here. So 2 plus 3 is 5, and then 2 plus 3 is 5. Then we do the above uh, row first. So, and then we have B goes to D, and we bring the 5 here, and then this is the duration, 5 plus 4 is 9, and then after D, we have G. So we have G here. Okay, so 9... We bring 9 here, 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, we're done with the first row. And then we go to the C. After C, we have E and F. Okay, so we go to E and F, we bring the 5 here. And then we do the, the second row here. So from E to H, so we have H here. So we bring the 13 here, 13 plus 8 is duration, 21. And then C to F, okay. 5 plus 4 is 9, and then all these, F, H, and uh, G, H, and M going to I. So, we have I here. So, uh, from G, from H, and from F. So, we have three numbers here. Which number to bring it here? Okay. So, the rule says we need to choose the largest number. So, in this case, we're going to bring 21 here, 21 plus 4 is 25. And then forget the uh, end box, okay? So 25 uh, and plus 0, there's no information on the end, so 25. So next, we're going to do the late uh, start time, okay? The latest start time and finish time. So we're going this way, the other way. So we're going to, to do backward. Okay, remember, we start from here at the end. So, okay, so we're going this way now. So 25. Uh, 0, 25, and then we bring 25 here, 25 minus. So in this case, when you're going backward, we have 2 minus, okay? So 25 minus 4, the duration, we got 21, and then bring 21 here, here, and here. Okay, we start with the uh, above uh, row, 21 minus 1, 20, 20, bring here, 30 minus 4, 16, and then 16, we bring here, 16 minus 3 is 13. Okay, next, we're doing the second row. So, 21 minus 8 is 13. 13, bring here, 13 minus 8 is 5. Okay, we have to stop here first because there's two uh, uh, input going here. So, we let me finish this one first. So, 21 minus 4 is 17. Okay, now, we have number 5 and 17 to choose to be in this uh, in the C. So what we have to do, if we're going that way, we're going backward, we need to find or to choose the smallest number this time. So 
we're going to choose 5. So 5 minus 3 is 2. And again, we need to make a decision. So which number are we going to choose here? So since the going backward is to choose smallest, so we need to find number 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0. And then 0, we bring up here. And then 0 plus 0 is 0. So we have completed okay, the network diagram. Okay, so these are the answers just now. Okay, so next, what we have to do is we need to find the slack. The sl how to find the slack is the bottom number here minus the top. Okay, bottom to top. So for this case, for this one, is 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. The best thing is from the this side and also this side, the value is going to be the same. Okay, the answer is going to be the same. Okay. Take a look for B. 16 minus 5 is 11 and 13 minus 2 is 11. Okay, same goes for this one. 20 minus 9 is 11 and also 16 minus 5 is 11. Just in case, if your number at the, the value, uh, when you, you minus the bottom to top, is not the same on the right or and uh, or on the left so means there's a something wrong somewhere that you make a mistake okay it must be equal okay in this case also both are 11 okay this case is 21 minus 9 is 12 17 minus 5 is also 12 okay see both number are the same so for the others are 0 this one is 0 this one is 0 this one is 0 and this one is 0 Okay, next, what we have to do, now we're going to determine the critical path. Critical path is to find the activity with zero slack. So, for this case, it's A, C, E, H, and I. Okay, these are the critical paths. And the project duration is the last number here. And box you have all the number are the same. So in this case, the project duration is 25 days. Okay, now next, what we have to do, we have to determine which one is the uh, activity that we can call as a slack. It means that they have the balance here. Okay, when you minus the bottom with the top, you have some uh, value here. So for this one, we have B. 11 okay and then d 11 g 11 and f 12 okay but not all slack are valid okay we have to check the validity of the slack in the uh, gun chart okay so now we're going to draw the gun chart so for the gun chart okay uh, this uh, 25 is the number of duration for in this case it's uh, 25 okay 25 days and then remember this is our sketch okay first thing is we have to uh, put in the critical path first in which we have determined this a c e h and i okay this is our task table okay so we start with a from this case a is two so a is one and two the next one is c c is three so we go to c okay a finish here and then start C here, so 3. 1, 2, 3. And then the next one is E. Is E duration is 8 days. So after C, we go to E and then we have to mark until 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So you have to fill out for the H and I. Okay, so for the H and I, you can see that after E, it goes straight to H and then we have 8. Okay, we have colored into uh, until 8 and then the last one is i so after h go to i with the for duration 1 2 3 4 so we have completed the critical path first then we need to fill up with the others in which the bdfg okay bdfg so from here bdfg so we need our uh, sketch so b is 3 so we're going to see B is from where? B start after A. So, this is A. So, we're going to start here. So, B is 3. So, we have to 1, 2, 3. Okay. After B, we have D. D is after B. So, we go to B and then we go down to D. And then we need to 4 days. 
one, two, three, four. And then we need to do for F. F is from C. So this is C. And then we start F here. And then F we have four. So one, two, three, four. And then finally we have G. But, okay. After F, so we have one here. All right. Next, we want to see the validity of the slag. Okay. Our slag is B. Okay. Because the question asks us, find activity that can be delayed most of the time without affecting the project. So we want to find the valid slag. So we have B, B, F, and G just now. Okay. The one in gray. And then what we have to do, we, we test each slag. Okay, this is uh, our sketch member. Okay, and then B, we're going to say is it valid or not? B goes to D, so B is here and then it goes to D, so there's no time in between, so directly into D, okay, B into D, so B is not a valid slide. Then we check for D, okay, and then D go to G, okay, this is D. Okay, and then G is here. So, D go to G. So, they have no slag. I mean, just directly after D it goes to G. Because here, D to G. So, D is not valid. And now we look at F. Okay, after F, it's go to I. This is F. Once F finish, it goes straight to I. So, I is here. So, if you can see, they have a, wow, okay, quite a long time here until it goes into I. Okay, I start here. So, this is a valid slack. And then for G, G going to I here. So, this is G. G goes straight to I. I is here. Also, this is a valid slack. So, what we can conclude from here only F and G with the 12 days, okay, when you calculate, we have 12 here, and G, when we calculate here, we have 11. These are the valid slack. So, these two activities can be delayed, in which the total slack time is 23 days, in which 12 plus 11. Okay, so we have done the network diagram, we have calculated the earliest and then the latest uh, finish, uh, start and finish time. And also we have determined the project duration, we have determined the critical path, and then we have validated the slack in which the activity that can be delayed. So uh, we almost have the, the whole idea, the project want to be. Okay, critical path cannot be delayed in which the A, C, E, H, and I. So I hope you understand all my explanation. Okay, we see you again. All right. Thank you.